ladies and gentlemen, this is Brian with Man and Beast, off screen with uh, another sexy friend of mine from Manhattan, Tim. Hello, y'all. He is uh, doing a deck profile on his Namekian Piccolo, or as I like to call it, Piccolo, because that's what it is. Uh, it, it's, a, it's, a big, it's a big deck of Ho. So um, we're just going to have Tim kind of go over a little bit of the cards and, uh, you know, talk, talk about what the deck does. All right, obviously, I'm playing Piccolo Namekian, so I'm going to start with the Namekian Knowledge Mastery. Uh, reading with the Aretta. It'll go whenever you whenever you rejuvenate or shuffle cards into your life deck. During battle. During combat. Yeah. You gain Remember. one anger. It's a one one of your effects. So you can't do it with uh like an enemy, like if someone used confrontation on you, yeah. it doesn't count. It's, it's gotta be by your cards. It wouldn't work for you. Right. Yep. Uh, I actually appreciate the Aretta more than most of the making players because it changed my deck not at all. Uh, you'll see, I try to be very, very aggressive with this, with this deck, and you'll get all your anger in combat. Uh, the rest of it goes along the lines of whenever a Dragon Ball enters play, your opponent must destroy the top card of his life deck. While you control one Dragon Ball, it cannot be captured by a critical damage effect. It's fantastic. It makes it punishes your opponent if they want to play Dragon Balls against you, and gives them a reason to not play theirs. And you steal theirs, and they may not get it back the entire game. Uh, pick a little level one. Pick a little stoic. Energy attack, costing one stage. Damage three life cards. Rejuvenate one. It's a weak attack, but that's fine. The rejuvenation is all you really need. And people will let that team go through. And once in a while, they'll find themselves. Oh, why is my life deck so low? That's a difficult thing. Like a lot of times, I'll I'll have to let that hit because he has something better in his hand. So oh, many see. people <laughs> say, oh yeah. <laughs> All right, the bread and butter this deck. You can stay here all. You can uh. stay here all game. Pickle at level two, combat stance. This is, in my opinion, the best overall personality in the entire game right now. Yep. Level, uh, personality, deck, play, whatever. Pickle at level two's power reads: discard a card from your hand to discard a card from your hand to rejuvenate two cards, and your opponent destroys the top two cards of his life deck. If you discard a solid card, you may draw a card and use a critical damage effect. So you get the rejuvenation, you get your anger from your mastery. You can draw a card if you toss a style uh, a styled setup or a style drill, which is not what's in this deck. I can also combo it off and I'll tell you a few combos that I use with Piccolo Level 2's discard effect. Uh, critical damage effect can control your opponent's anger, can bring your Dragon Balls that were stolen away from you, or steal your opponent's Dragon Balls. And it's a great way to control a game deck. Yes. I like to stay here on blue, Guinea. I might actually go out of my way to lower my own anger if I haven't cleared the field. He did that once to me, actually. He, I saw him lower his anger. I'm like, oh, I see what you're doing there. Uh, I see. It's a different build. It was, it was a different night. build, but the, the same principle yeah, kind of applies. The principle does apply. Yeah. Oh. Piccolo, Piccolo level 3, Unleashed. It's another one of my favorites when I'm ready to go for a beatdown. Uh, your attacks deal plus two life cards of damage. Once per combat, when you deal critical damage, you may search your life deck for a game wall and place it in play. This card does work. If you need to get a critical damage effect in, Piccolo level, level 3 is almost as good as Piccolo level 2, because all your weakest attacks do plus two. Combo with Dragon Ball 1, and you can have an onslaught that stays on the table to be used twice, do seven life cards each hit. That's pretty nasty. Against a proper deck with poor endurance, in this case it would be another Namekian deck, or black or red Union. You could pull out you could pull out a Dragon Ball and start critting your opponent's allies. Especially if you onslaught. And his high power level makes any physical attacks you got, because any physical attacks I have in this deck, fantastic. Yep. Uh, being in E for the top two and D for everything but the bottom three puts in work. This deck, this deck is no slouch. <laughs> Topping it off, Piccolo level four, fused. He is beautiful. Uh, your opponent needs to deal seven more life cards to activate the critical damage effect. Power, energy attack costing two stages, damage seven life cards. Hit, rejuvenate X, X equals number of Dragon Balls in play. Oh man. That power is variable. You may get rejuvenation four, 
may get rejuvenation one. I have rejuvenated seven when my opponent has one one of my Dragon Balls in his side of the field. Because it's all Dragon Balls. Yeah, it's just Dragon Balls, yeah. not just the ones you control. They're all in play. Also, not how fuse helps to uh, avoid your Dragon Balls and anger. The Dragon Balls captured and hang alone because your opponent now has to deal extra damage just to attempt that critical damage effect. With what little bit of endurance this deck has, I can usually take about a 10 life card hit on level 4 and knock it down to 6. So it's a uh, it's very nice, and it helps the defense. And by the time you're at level four, your opponent's quaking because they know you're really yeah. Close you're to about to MPPV, yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll go ahead and start with the Dragon Ball in my that I play. I play the entire set, starting with Dragon Ball one. Your other Dragon Balls cannot be captured. Your attack steal plus one life cut are down. Comboing off level three. This is uh, this makes your opponent wants to stop every single attack you do. This deck was built around uh, facing off against Gideon, but it does so good for so many different things. This will help you against the Gideon. Your opponent's going to want to capture your 5 or your 3 or your 2, but they have to take your 1 first. So utilize Piccolo level 3's power if possible to get 1 out, or get it out as soon as possible. It'll protect the rest of your Dragon Balls, and you don't have to worry about uh, and you can deal extra damage with your attacks. Dragon Ball 2 is the first thing I pulled out any game I play against another Dragon Ball deck. You may lower personality one level. The very first Dragon Ball I will pull out, I will go search for it if it's not already on the field. Because if I'm facing another Dragon Ball deck, they have a Dragon Ball 2, and I need to make sure they don't use it on me. I'll, I will forego Dragon Ball 5 to pull this out to keep myself safe from Dragon Ball 2 later on down the yeah. road. Good preventative measure. I've done some mean things with it too. Faced off against uh, another Piccolo in the making deck, even today. Uh, played Dragon Ball 2, nobody nobody lost levels. But he leveled up, I used right throw to shuffle it back in, and used Dragon Radar to pull it back out. So this deck is very mean. Now <laughs> we Dragon Ball 3, draw 3 cards, place two cards from your hand at the bottom of your life deck, raise or lower players on your one level. This can be used in so many different ways, it's unbelievable. You play it outside of combat, you hope you draw more uh, non-combats or <laughs> dragon balls. You want, a you want more setups in there. You, you draw it, or you play it during combat, and you will throw away those setups that you draw for that one yeah. grand attack or that one grand defense that you really need to save your life. You can raise or lower any player's anger one level. I prefer to raise my anger most often, but if I'm facing off against a deck I need to sit at level 2 for a few turns, I'll lower my own anger. Uh, I almost never hit my opponent's anger, it doesn't matter, I got so many other things to deal with that. Mostly in damage, but uh, Dragon Ball 3 is the first Dragon Ball I will play. And if I have a, if I have a chance to search for 3 or 5, I'll get 3 out. Good way to mill your hand out. Yeah, it's a great way to control your hand. Uh, 5 is nice, and we'll get to that. Dragon Ball 4, show up just two setups of drills. There's no telling me how many. There's no telling you how many times this has done me good. Orange Ginyu is a thing. Yeah. And you need to take care of their setups and drills, especially the drills. So getting rid of the uh, stop, stop an energy attack and two plus two life cards drills is a lifesaver. Especially when you're playing this deck. There's also very many setups that you don't want your opponent having on the field, visiting the past, a uh, heroic plan. If you're playing a blue wall deck, you hit two tricks or you hit a positioning drill. But you gotta get rid of them. You gotta get rid of those cards. Dragon Ball 4 will help you with that. Next Dragon Ball 5. Game 5 stages. Raise your one level. Draw a card. Your Juvenate 1. Obviously, this is one of the best cards in this deck because it gains you two anger, regardless, and you get to draw a card to replace it. You play it in combat. Oh, okay. You play it out of combat, you can replace it and gain one anger. You manage to, put it, manage to get it in combat through your Dragon Radar or the Making Dragon Clan. You get two anger out of it, and you get an extra card to that. I would say three. I would switch out three over five, however, if I don't need the two anger, because three can let me set up my hand, whereas five, I can draw a non combat 
or useless block, or use, useless attack, depending on what, uh, what I need. Five, I have to take what I get. Three, I have a better chance to play it out. That said, five is still a very good card, and it's one of the best anger raises in this deck. Like I realize, I haven't seen a single turn strike. I've been waiting for like four and a half. Next, Dragon Ball 6. Yeah. Your biggest power burning is three. Your opponent's attacks deal minus two yeah. stages of damage. Way, this is a good way to know, mitigate exactly. some power know. stages of damage for all your energy attacks you're going to be playing. If you face off against a physical heavy deck, which you won't very often in this <laughs> But like Burner, in the it's system. a good way to negate Burner. <laughs> yeah, it's a great way to negate Burner. And God Koo really, really helps less than how much damage you're taking. Also, increasing your power up rating is always a great thing. Now we're Dragon Ball 7. It's beautiful. <laughs> I love this card so much. Compared with the Mastery, your opponent destroys the top four cards of his life deck. And you choose three cards from your disco pile and place them on top of your life deck. You can set up your next turn. Play that in combat. And you can, if your opponent enters, you can set up three non combats or three setups to put them on top of your life deck. Or use your confrontations again, or use your Times of Warriors tool again. Yes, if you need to, if you need to set up for a combat, you can put your uh, high powered attacks, maybe two right throws or two, uh, maybe put two onslaughts and one Times of Warriors tool on top. Well, this is uh, it's great to set you up for what you need to do next. And if you really need it, you can put th uh, three endurance cards on top. Yep. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't realize that counter. <coughs> no, 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 it's okay. Sorry. <laughs> you are a dick. Uh, I am. Okay. okay, starting in with our setups. I play one, visiting the pass. I just can't fit, any, fit another one into this deck. Uh, limit two per deck, vanish after use. Power, use when entering combat. Switch your discard pile for... And place it in. Switch your discard pile for a card and place it into your hand. If you have more than three cards in your hand, place a card from your hand at the bottom of your life deck. While I normally enter with the, on defense using visiting the past, sometimes I'll uh, have two high anger attacks but no defense, and I'll walk in visiting the past to get times of warriors to work to work, to work off uh, the damage while I put six anger into my. <laughs> it's very threatening to go against like. Even though I'll go against him in games, it's very threatening because there's some combats I want to go into um, that I know he's had some really good cards in the discard pile that I don't feel like I have an opportunity to hand. And that one card will stop me from going into combat against him for a turn or two. It's, it's really good. It'll actually, it actually works for and against you because when your opponent plays Visiting the Past and you have Visiting the Past, now, now you're both uh, ditching decent hands or good hands, waiting for just the perfect hands. So right. When your opponent visiting on oh, the end like it, it doesn't hurt you too bad. The good thing is, while you do want to deal damage and survival is a very viable way for this deck to win, you really only want to anger and rejuvenate. Right. So if your opponent times, then you can just keep rejuvenating, put cards back into your life deck anyway, while you time with your visiting fast. Yeah. Or the time that you use, yeah, that you got to visit the best. You got it, man. Dragon Radar, and the one for deck, vanish after use. Power Switch Life for Dragon Ball, and play it. Playing it is, is far better than placing it in play. And that's why Dragon Radar is a staple in the new Dragon Ball deck. Uh, there's not much more to say about it, it's just that good of a card. Get whatever Dragon Ball you need for the situation. The making Dragon Clan, very much the same thing except for better. The number one predict, vanish after you. Search your life deck for a Dragon Ball and play it. If your MP is level 4, search your life deck for two Dragon Balls instead. This way, if you're at level 4, you can really put the pressure on your opponent, put two more Dragon Balls out, now you're two Dragon Balls closer to not only anger victory, but MPPV victory as well, uh, Dragon Ball victory as well. And if you pull Dragon Balls 3 and 5, you just pop, pump yourself up 3 and Right? Yeah. <laughs> the making wish, the one per deck, vanish after use. Power in combat, choose X cards in your discard pile and rejuvenate them. X equals the number of Dragon Balls in play. There's been a cl clarification that the rejuvenation works after combat is over, so you do not get a chance to get the anger off your rejuvenation. However, if you have more than a few Dragon Balls out, you can search your discard pile for a few 
uh, making knee blocks and get angry that way. Yeah. We can also put extremely useful cards or high endurance depending on who you're facing off against. We put hybrid defenses, type of warriors tool, we can put onslaught, overtime, or even a high defense card as like a knee block to get the anger and the endurance, or right throw for the endurance. Got you out. Also, it'll get you out of some really sticky situations. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I played two Namekian fusions. What's going on? Two Namekian fusions. Banish after use. Raise your MP to its highest power stage. Draw a card and reveal it to your opponent. If that card is a styled card, rejuvenate two. It doesn't always work the way you want it to, but. Taking a high-powered physical attack, like Godku using, oh, I don't know, Stretch Kick. Take the damage, fusion, get it all back. <clears throat> it's one of my favorites, uh, <laughs> it's one of my favorite defensive measures against the physical deck. Always take damage and power back up afterwards. I also let you draw a card to uh, continue the battle in your favor. And if it's a styled card, you can rejuvenate two to get the anger. While you may not need the card you get, if you're level 2, you can pitch that card for Piccolo's power to gain yet 2 more rejuvenation, mill 2, and draw another card to try again. Um, you need both because we're playing with two sets. On to my events. I'm going to start with the very obvious. Piccolo's way to clover. Any other disputes should be settled with five arguments that the owner of the game has the last one. Piccolo's Weighted Clothing says, If this card is in your discard pile, you may banish it as an action to raise your hand at two levels. Power, use one enchant combat as the defender. Your opponent skips his first action in this combat, gain X stages. X equals your power over eight. While I almost never have this as a defending, as a defender in my hand before I draw, because that's the only time you can use this if it's in your hand. <laughs> I do often have it in the discard pile, and I will actually, if I'm feeling safe, if my Dragon Balls are safe, and I don't have much anger to lose anyway, I will take 12 life cards of damage on purpose to try to get three of these discard pile. It's another one of my defensive measures against uh, a blue deck, or a Ginyu deck. Take the damage, make your opponent now, 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 you can specify before the game. And pop yourself up to level 2. If it's in your hand, uh, as the defender, when you draw three cards, uh, you can always trash it for Piccolo's level 2, but your best bet is just kind of hold on to it and discard it when you get the chance. Like, there's one creature in the field called Geek. Geek ones? There's one that plays with Geek. I run... Because they're Geeks. Recently started running two heroic energy spheres. Heroes only, power used when an event is played. Cancel the face of that card, rejuvenate one. While, the, while part of the reason why I don't run three is because I don't own three, two is all you need in this deck. The amount of rejuvenation that you're going to get in this deck is ridiculous. If your opponent plays an event that you don't want, say confrontation, stare down, time as a warrior's tool, uh, one of the blue Omni block events, maybe a black card that you really don't like, like ad Adaptation. You can Sphere it, and then use your Piccolo level 1 or 2 power, or any of your attacks that rejuvenate 1, and put it back into your life deck right after you use it. Uh, this deck will never need more than 2 spheres, and while uh, it doesn't need spheres to be in it, these can put in a lot of miles towards winning towards winning you a combat and putting you ahead in the game. Time is a Warrior's tool is obviously a staple in every deck. Limit one for that. Stop all your opponent's physical, stop an opponent's physical energy attack. Stop all your opponent's attacks. Enough said. Okay, all I'm going to say is... <laughs> I run three to make you an overtime. Vanish after use, power and rejuvenate one, destroy the top X cards of your opponent's life deck. X equals the number of Dragon Balls you control. Search your life deck for a styled energy combat card and place it into your hand. This is supposed to be in every single making deck ever. 
even if you don't run very many energy attacks, like you'll see that I actually don't, you can go and pop an energy defense when you are in a bind, or maybe you're ahead, maybe you want to use target strike to use Dragon Ball 3 again, Dragon Ball 5 or Dragon Ball 7 again, over time, go search for that attack, and make your opponent wish that they didn't have, yeah. that they weren't facing you. I've heard a lot of controversy about me even running this card in my deck. But making silencing says, if this card is rejuvenated, your Dragon Balls cannot be captured this combat. Power, your opponent may not play events this combat. While right now, the actual power of the, of the card isn't very useful, uh, you can still shut down a few deck types, and you can turn an opponent who's going to time you uh, and walk in with a bunch of attacks to suddenly be taking every attack you throw at them. The rejuvenation effect is the best part of this one. If I have five Dragon Balls out, but I don't have very much defense, I can pitch it for Piccolo's level two, or I can play it and then rejuvenate it, utilizing with my other cards, to make sure my Dragon Balls cannot be captured for the of combat. This way, they are focused, they're forced to focus on my anger, which, if I'm trying to keep my Dragon Balls safe, I'm completely fine. The last thing I want is my opponent to steal my Dragon Ball 3 and use them against me. Dragon Ball 7, he's against me, and Dragon Ball 5, he's against me. Silencing will keep you safe over and over and over. For another Namekian staple that should never be not in a Namekian deck, no matter how many sets Panini comes out with, <laughs> Namekian Hybrid Defense. Stop a physical energy attack, choose X cards in your discard pile, and choose your X, X equals your MP's level. I will personally search for cards that have rejuvenation effects, such as Namekian Silencing and Namekian Knee Block. And barring those, I'll take time to order tool. Another Hybrid Defense that's in the discard pile already. If I'm level 2 or higher, I can search out multiple useful ones. But that's just my particular strategy. Other people may go for attacks, or if they really want that setup, they can go and fetch a setup with more drill. <laughs> Moving on to energy defenses. I run three to make hit stance. Stop an energy attack. Your opponent's attacks need to deal plus two life cards to use the critical damage effect this combat. This has no real use towards getting you anger and has no real use towards getting you a Dragon Ball victory. However, forcing your opponent to do plus two life cards damage to use critical damage effects can save you uh, from taking the critical damage and losing what anger you do have or losing your Dragon Balls. If you're level four, now they have to do nine. If you use multiple, now they have to do 11. No matter how strong their attacks are, unless they hit every single one of your non-endurance cards, they're not critting the turn that you, that you use two stances. And they probably won't crit the turn you use one stance. This can allow you to take extra damage so you can ball out at the end when you only have two or three balls left in your life deck with two other cards. That's my own personal way. No, no, I don't see that. I've done it before too. I've stanced, taken like 12 life cards of damage from three attacks, but endured like five of it to make sure the stance uh, works, and drew my Dragon Balls at the tail end of an uh, orange Ginyu game. <laughs> Make an energy guard. Stop an energy attack, shovel the top and bottom cards of your life, <laughs> and discard pile into your life deck. This is one of the best energy guards in the game, in my opinion, simply because you get to shuffle two cards and you get the end. There's not much more to say about it. It's a fantastic card. <laughs> Moving on to energy attacks. I run three Piccolo Special Beam Cannons. I've seen a lot of builds without them, but I feel like they're absolutely unnecessary when dealing with giving you, and they're very nice to have when dealing with anything else. Energy attack costing two stages. Damage three life cards. Rejuvenate one. There's your anger right there. Hit. Name two different non Dragon Ball cards. Search your opponent's life deck for one copy of each card and banish them. Did your opponent take this hit? Go find two of his allies. Did your opponent take this hit? Go take out a confrontation and time is worse. 
pick what you need to face off against. You're facing a blue map, take out, <laughs> take out blue biting drill and blue position. It's all about trying to deconstruct your opponent's deck and hurt them in the long run. It's not much damage, but your opponent will be hurting from it when they can no longer get their allies drills or time is the worst. Next card is making an onslaught. Energy attack costing one stage. Damage, four life cards. Rejuvenate one, where's, where there your anger is. If you control two or more giant walls, this text isn't played to be used a second time in this combat. As long as you control two dragon walls, this card will net you two anger. Could do up to eight life cards for just two stages of damage. Play dragon, have dragon wall one out, ten life cards. That's one hell of Level a ride, isn't it? Level 3, with Dragon Roll 1 out. That's 14 life cards for only 2 stages. Probably gonna crit when you get 2 anger off of it. My favorite combo is to play it, sidekick, play it again. So good. <laughs> I did that to you yesterday too. Oh god, all three of them. Of course you timed so I didn't do any damage, but... It was fun <laughs> to do that. My final energy attack in this deck actually is the making a targeted strike. Energy attack costing two stages. Damage, four life cards. Hit, you may use the effect of a Dragon Ball in play. If you do, banish this card after use. The best part about this is it's not banished after use immediately. The opponent stops it, you get a chance to try again later when you rejuvenate it. If you do hit it, you can do all sorts of fun stuff. My favorite combo from what I did today, in fact, was I played dra used Dragon Radar to play Dragon Ball 3. I used and hit with Targeted Strike. Use Dragon Ball 3 again. Drew into another Targeted Strike. Used and hit that Targeted Strike. Drew into 3 again. Kept the uh, overtime. Overtime. But to get another Targeted Strike, use Targeted Strike again for Ball 3. And by the end of that combat, I got from level 1 0 anger. Opponent's mirror match to level four one in ahead of them, <laughs> far ahead of them. Yep. This is the, one of the best combo cards in this deck, along with making sidekick. And if you combo it right with the right Dragon Ball, you can do some insane damage. That is horrible. You're welcome for the plus ten. <laughs> Moving on to. <laughs> Let's move on to physical defenses first before I move on to attacks. I run three to make it knee blocks. Up till recently, I was only running two, but I realized that this is too good of a card not to have three of it in my deck. If this card is rejuvenated, raise your anger one level. Endurance two stops a physical attack. So if I use it to stop a physical attack and gain no anger, there's a good chance. I have a card that's going to rejuvenate it in my next action. Also, if I have to, it gives me Endurance 2, so I can uh, take a harder hit than normal. Unfortunately, I'd have to banish it and not get a chance to rejuvenate it for the anger, but the defense is there nonetheless. And I also play Make It Forceful Block. Top of Physical Attack, gain 5 stages, rejuvenate 1. While in the current meta, I don't get a chance to really utilize it. When I do play against one of my friends' God Crew decks, I will take a, I'll take it nine stages of damage. Then I'll stop their next one and gain stages, and then take another nine stages of damage. Which instead of being uh, nine life cards where I would have been, now it's only doing three life cards. <laughs> it does rejuvenate one, so it gets you one anyway. That, that was the first time I featured God Crew deck. And now moving on to the coup de grace of this deck, my physical attacks. Yeah. Making sidekick is the first one to we'll look over. Oh, so good. Banish after use, physical attack, damage, AT plus two life cards. Lower your opponent's anger two levels. Hit, draw the top card of your discard pile. It's done me so much good in mirror matches, today in fact, that I've lowered my opponent's anger six times utilizing sidekick. I would say more, but it's banish after use and I don't get a chance to do it. Yeah, thank, thank goodness. Yeah, so if it hits, I can draw the top card of my discard pile. So, say I use targeting strike and they stopped it. Depending on uh, my luck, I can sidekick. They may have thrown away all the physical stoppers because they don't expect too many physical attacks from this deck. Well, throw away that physical stopper. Now I get a sidekick and I try targeting strike one more time. Same thing can go with onslaught. Do two more onslaughts. Or, uh, if they discard it another time, or 
I use the hybrid defense. I need that defense back and sidekick and have a chance to get it back. It's very situational, true, but lowering your opponent's anger and giving them a reason to throw away one of their omni blocks always, always yeah. good. Devastating blow. Well, it's a staple in the vast majority of decks. Uh, it is definitely something that this deck would have a hard time running with that. The only way to get rid of your opponent's allies permanently is pick a little special beam cannon or creating them in devastating blow. So, physical attack. Damage, AT plus one stage. Rage during your one level. Lower your opponent's anger two levels. Choose three cards in your opponent's disco pile and batter them. It really helps to screw up your opponent's discard strategy. It's good against the mirror match to lower their anger, and it raises your own anger without the need for it to regenerate. The best thing to do is to use this when you have anything in your discard pile to gain one anger, and then use one of your rejuvenation effects afterwards. <coughs> Uh, of course, you want to banish the best cards in your opponent's discard pile, whatever's going to hurt you at that moment in time personally. I've thrown away defenses that they can't get back instead of attacks or confrontations because I don't want them to get defense back. I have plus two here. I ran away. He had a seven. I threw it away from this one also. Running to make you a crushing slam as another physical attack. Banish after use. Endurance two. Physical attack. Damage ET plus three stages. Shuffle the top two cards of your disco pile into your life. It's a very effective attack. It's a high powered physical attack, and the higher level you are, the far more damage it's going to do. The Endurance 2 helps you uh, take a few hits here and there, and you get to automatically shuffle the top two cards of your disco pile into your life deck, which gains you one anger. If you level up using this card, you can now use your E. Yeah. <laughs> you can use people level 3 or 4's E against what most opponents may be sitting at C or D to give uh, 5 to 6 power stages of damage, forcing them to block or taking a not so insignificant. And the final three cards of my life deck are to make you right through. Endurance 2, physical attack. Damage, 18 plus 3 stages. You may shovel a Dragon Ball you control back into its owner's life deck. If you do, raise your your two levels. If you shuffle a Dragon Ball you control, that is yours, back into your life deck, you gain one anger from the Master's shuffle effect, and then you gain two anger from right throw. Gaining three anger from a physical attack with those plus three stages is still painless. This endurance is, a, is very good as well. Uh, with endurance two, you don't really want to use this endurance, but if you're taking a heavy hit, it can save you from a final attack's worth of damage. Uh, shuffling the Dragon Ball you control into your post life deck won't net you that extra anger, but if you have five, four anger and you shuffle your own Dragon Ball into your life deck, you'll gain one anger, level up, and the very next thing you do is gain two more anger from right those effects. This is so good in my deck. My opponents will scout maneuvering for this almost before they scout maneuvering for anything else. And they'll devastating blow it out before they hit almost anything else. He's already a warrior. Putting this back into my life deck for that extra endurance or that extra three anger each time I use it, opponents don't want to deal with that. Yeah, that's not fun. All right, well, that's my deck profile. This deck has taken me through some serious tournaments. Uh, Kansas wide, basically. I won three of them and lost a uh, fairly major one in KC, but I did place third, and it's my baby. I've been working on this since uh, this is the first day I got my cards, three days after I said it came out. What's in work? What's in work? Oh. It does very good work. It does very, very good work. Well, thank you, sir, Tim, for your sexy, lovely, and douchey <laughs> deck profile all in one. Uh, and we're, we're going to be featuring more decks by the Manhattan people as well, so uh, stay tuned. And we appreciate you, kind sir, for your, your time and your effort in making painful decks <laughs> for people in the butt. Honestly, it is my absolute pleasure. <laughs> Feel free. You, you won't hurt my feelings at all if you walk into your own local tournament rocking this head. If you don't have the spheres, trade out, trade out the two spheres that I have for one silencing and one fusion, and the deck will do wonders for you. Yeah. All right, all. We'll see you later. Take care, y'all.